So I've been thinking about this topic, uh, well, I guess forever, but lately a lot, uh, because uh, it just is something that I think about often, like what, where is the mystery, where is the enjoyment of uh, trying to solve a problem versus uh, when you can find the answer on the web or you can get a book that has the answer um, somewhere from the internet or buy the book, buy a book that has answers or the book itself has answers in the back. So uh, the books here that I have on this table are representative of the three types. Uh, the first type is a book with a lot of answers in the back. Rosen number theory definitely wins that contest. Um, yeah, I think the answers in the back of this book are like, let me see, they start, they start page, yeah, yeah, so they start, um, where do they start? Yeah, here we go. Answers to odd number problems. So start right here, and it's a lot. And some of the answers are really long. And so, for example, in the case of when I covered uh, Rosen, there were answers to problems that I did not attempt. I did not look at those answers because having the answer to a problem, in my opinion, is sort of like the end of the fun. The real fun for me is trying to solve a problem and not having the answer or having it that when I look at it, I'm like, oh, wow, I solved it right. And especially when it's a proof, it's really nice when uh, I actually came up with an alternate proof because, you know, often there is a, multiple ways to do a proof uh, for the same uh, concept. So that is one example. The example of Rosen, yes, there are tons of answers in the back. Uh, there are gigantic answers. And uh, that's how I like to approach this type of book. Then, of course, I think the best treatment of any book is really what Anton did. You know, in the case of Anton, let me get these gigantic books off the shelf, off the, off the table. In the case of what Anton did uh, with uh, Roris, and I, it's probably that Roris is the one who did all the, pro the solutions to the problems, this is great. Yes, I will never know the answer to all the even problems, but that keeps the mystery going. And so I like that. And of course, it's really nice to see, uh, unlike the case of Rosen, where there's the answer, and even though some cases the answer is very long, in this case, it's to the next level because the exercise book has the fully worked out answer with all the steps often, like all the steps. So this was really, really good. In my opinion, I think this is the best setup. The best setup is the even ones, you don't know what they are, and then... Uh, in the case of the odd ones, they, the, the, the professor shows you what all the answers are. For self-learning, I think this is the best. Then the, the final one, which I think is, I would call it the, uh, the kryptonite solution, uh, is when you have all the answers. And I bought this book just because I thought it would be a good idea to have it. But then when I received it, I was like, this thing is kryptonite. Because, and if anybody understands the Superman uh, reference, if you don't, it's because in the movie Superman, uh, the only thing that will kill Superman is kryptonite. Everything else cannot kill him. So he's got something. He's got an Achilles heel. So I believe uh, books that are like the solutions to all the problems, even though they're really good, and I will use them. I'm a hobbyist. I have no shame in using uh, the answers to books to problems if it helps me. But... My philosophy is to do that when I'm really done with that subject. It's like, all right, I'm not going to come back to the subject maybe in three years, if ever. Okay, fine. I'll look at the answer. And that's, I'm sure, I, I mean, I really, really want someday to cover this wonderful book. And I have not done a, a video for it because I wouldn't really know what to say. And it's in my plan so far into the future. This is a functional analysis book. Uh, it's a wonderful book. I've tried to read it, multi read parts of it multiple times. And I know that it's going to be uh, way into the future compared to all the other learning that I need to do. But yeah, and there's a reason why I, will, I refuse to open this book. Not in this video, not ever. Even though I have it. Because it's the answers. <laughs> it's the answers to every single problem by the professor. So it's totally legit. 
Uh, and so I think, I think that's my outlook on uh, problems and their answers. I want to hear what you have to say about this topic. I think it's very controversial in universities. I know it was controversial when I was in graduate school uh, and undergraduate because you, you could have like uh, the old exams, the old exams with the answers, the old problem sets with answers. Uh, that'd be the occasional book where uh, there were people who knew of a book, the, the actual professor's book with all the answers. It gets nasty in an academic environment because then uh, you know, you can get into trouble. Students can get into trouble for, for doing that. I mean, somebody can say, hey, you know, you're, 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 you're cheating. You know, that's, that's a word that would be used. Of course, when, I, when you're a hobbyist, none of that matters because you're not in a math department. You're just on your, you know, in, in the privacy of your own basement. But I still have this thing in me of integrity. Uh, integrity to the cost of learning math. And so having the answer without really working out the problem I think totally defeats the purpose. If anybody does that, whether in an academic program or self-learning, there's zero learning there. So actually, I'm not even sure, I'm actually not sure if I'll ever open this book, even though I know I have it. Uh, and if I do, it'll have to be that I do so much functional analysis and I work through all the, uh, the, the questions so hard for so many hours that it'll be like, hey, I gave it my all, just tell me what the answer is if I got it wrong. So please tell me what you think. I'm very curious about what you all think about these, uh, this topic.